Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast. It's a pretty misty day today, but today we're going to be carrying on with Thormcraft and seeing what more wonders we can discover. So since the last episode, I have actually been doing a bit of research on the research table and I sort of regret it a bit because what I found was this. Not that. This. Basic transmutation. Now, I'll show you what I did to get it because it looks like a fairly important aspect of Thorncraft. So, I think I was experimenting with some lapis and like some gold. Uh, so, you, you can see here the gold has, yeah, you see that little trophy above it and the iron thing there. Uh, and lapis has that as well. Lap lapis has the trophy, but gold is especially good for this. It enabled me to sort of start off um, and I got these two 100% complete with just the gold and the lapis and after that it, it told me I needed to get that um, thing on the left trade thing um, you know it, I saw I thought hmm emerald right so I went over emerald and I saw where even is my emerald I thought yeah it's got it but then also has it is copper and it's, got, it's only got one of it and emeralds worth four but I thought I'd use copper because it's less valuable and I had to get like 20 wheat to get this emerald. So there we go, there's the copper and I got this. So I'm just going to right click it here and see if we can make whatever this allows us to make. So there we go, basic transmutation. Now let's check in the Thormonomicon what this allows us to do. Um, is it anywhere to be found? Possibly, possibly not. Basic transmutation, what's that? Does it just tell you how to build any of these things? Well, there we go, basic transmutation. You are now able to transform basic metals like iron into golden nuggets. The transformation is not without cost and loss, however, but one can never have too much gold, can one? <laughs> um, I beg to differ, actually. I think that you can have too much gold. Although, we're going to give it a go. We're going to chuck some random things into the old uh, pot. See what we get. Let's try some gold nuggets into the, the cruiser brew. <laughs> I call it cruiser brew because that picture of the um, Asian guy saying impossible. It makes me laugh every time. And impossible ends in LE, and so does crucible. So I call it cruiser brew. Anyways, there we go. And right click this. What do we get? Anything? Nothing. Damn it. Had to refill this up. Yeah, also since last episode, I've got a pretty funny story. I went off mining into that mine over there that says 445 uh, meters away. And I kind of died. And then I went back and I died again. And I died again and again and again. Uh, and eventually I think I died a total of like nine times before I had the opportunity to get all my crap. And eventually I just decided to <laughs> mine right out of the little sort of cobblestone house I'd built. In, in the cave because those angry zombies, oh my god, oh, wrong place, that's pretty cool actually isn't it, that fill it up, no, there we go, in the bucket, <laughs> in the bu in the crucible, imagine if crucibles were in buckets, that wouldn't even be that funny, I don't even know why I'm laughing at that quite as much, god look how misty it is outside, anyway, we're gonna start off by popping in possibly some iron because it did mention putting iron in, gave you gold didn't it, Although I'm not, I'm not sure because it sort of said you got to put in. If you look at this, it says you got to put in metallium and carus. Maybe iron has that actually. And it's just got metallium. You see, gold has got metallium and carus, so I'm not entirely sure. We're just going to queue this puppy in and see if we get some gold nuggets. In theory, we should. You discover something, but you can't record your findings. What? Why not? Do I need paper? All those Thorncraft pros among you will be actually getting pretty raging at me right now. Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah, I thought I couldn't get it back for a minute. That would be annoying. Oh my god, having this infinite water source is really fantastic. But I realised recently... Can you right click just like the edge? Yeah, you can. I realised recently that um, Thorncraft requires the crucible for pretty much everything. Um, anyway, possibly not... Oh yeah, I know what we can make in this episode as well. We can make like an arcane... Work workbench, not like a little one over here, but we can make a big one that's like three by three. That'd be really awesome. Sorry, the server's being a little bit laggy at the moment, but I think it's okay. Let's pop this in here. Uh, we got some paper. Does that work? No, damn it! I lost some iron. 
I'm going to try to make the arcane big workbench. Now I think... See, it's 3x3, three three, so I want to put it probably like here. I couldn't put it in the middle there because that wouldn't be symmetrical. And as you can see, symmetricality is quite important to me. So I think possibly what you need to do is make um, like nine tables. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but we're going to give it a quick go. That should be plenty. And then... Hey, oh, 12 tables, there we go, All right. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is going to work, actually. I'm literally just guessing here. It's that shape, sure, can you write... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Darn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Um. Wow, okay. Possibly you have to do something else. Oh, maybe you do it in the arcane workbench, actually. Hmm. Can do that with one? No. Um, maybe it's nine of these. Um, I'll do a little bit of research. Um, and I'll get right back. Okay. So I'm not entirely sure how you make this thing. So what we're gonna do? Uh, I can't even. I can't even find the thing on the Tinto webs. So what I'm gonna do is just search the Thorn Omicron and see what we can find. Uh, I think you can find basic things in here. Yeah. Yeah. So you know how to make basic things. This is probably all you need to get started with, you know. So, okay, we worked here. We've got that glass file, pile file, glass glass files capable of holding all manner of liquid and substances. But the most important thing to form a turge is their ability to hold essentia. Okay, we can make some of these things and fold it. We're gonna need some clay. Fold it. We're gonna need to sleep. Oh, <laughs> you can see I've been asking Kiko how to do this thing because it's it's a pretty goddamn mystical thing. You know? um, can we sleep? Let's see what he says. Because I don't really want to go and get clay when it's so goddamn dark out there. And with the angry zombies on this server, I'm pretty sure it's on hard mode. Um... No, we can still sleep. Trust. <laughs> yeah, Louis. Louis is a bot. Louis 0718. Everyone thinks he restricts them from uh, being able to sleep. Um, but he doesn't. Try it, bro. Use it. Don't skip till morning. See? I'm always right. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not. LOL. <laughs> oh, it's a misty day outside. It's a real misty day. So, we're gonna try to get a little bit of this um, lovely clay. Oh my god, look at that skeleton over there. He's in full armor. We don't want to cross his path anytime soon. So we're gonna. Oh! Uh. Hello, Cowie. Um. Is there any. Clayingtons around here? Because if there is. Cow, have you seen any clay. Oh, I killed him too much. I always do that. You! Cowie! Have you seen any clay? Tell me. No, I haven't seen any clay. Die then! Sorry, I've been told I'm, I'm far too brutal. I, th I feel at least I should collect his corpse before going and hunt for the clay. Um, oh my god, I'm actually going to die. This is my comeuppance. This is my comeuppance for killing cows. Although, why don't farmers get this if this is the, if this is my comeuppance? I didn't even die. Um, alright. Um, <laughs> going to have to try to find clay. Um... I may cut this bit out, but I may not. Let's just see how easy it is. This is oh, what is this stuff? Is this crude oil? I'm pretty sure it's crude oil. Oh, look at that. You can get it with, um... Shovel. I thought it was a pickaxe job, but it's obviously a shovel job. Let's get some sandstone, actually. Sandstone is fantastic. Just for general building purposes. Um, I want to go and find myself some... Okay. Ah, uh, come on, Clay. 
Come on. Come on. Clay. Clay. Here's some clay. Or is this just sand? Oh no, it's clay. It's clay, alright. Oh my god, so much clay. You know what, I'm actually just gonna stand above the water because it's so much quicker to get this stuff. Oh, it's taking so long. Holy crap. I'll tell you what, I reckon there's some kind of armor I can get that... I don't know if it would affect the time it takes, but it can definitely make me breathe underwater, which is really fantastic. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna make my way back home now. So, we got over a stack of clay. I'm assuming it's over, because if it's exactly a stack of clay, that would be weird. Let's go back home because there's no place like home, let's be honest. Oh my god, look at this uh, mistiness. It's <laughs> Is this a Pokemon game? Because I'm pretty sure that's Misty. I'm kidding. I've, I've cracked that joke more than I should have done. And I feel bad for it, you know? I, I actually really genuinely feel bad for it. Yeah, there was talk on the server of possibly building a spawn town near, near my base. I was having none of it. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen anymore. Although it'd be awesome, you know, if it happened elsewhere. But not near my base. Not on my watch. Oh my god, <laughs> we haven't even got all that much done this episode yet. But this shouldn't this shouldn't take too long. So we can get on to the more important things later. So here we go. The most important, well, not the most important film craft thing, but wow, eight glass files. I'm gonna call them files. I wonder if we can hold water in them. Nope. Can't hold water in them. Let's check the Thermonomicon. Some other crazy things we can build. We've got infused ore. Ah, what's that? Flux. Oh. <laughs> I hate reading. There are many things here that don't require to read. There are great wood trees. These large majestic trees can be found dotted all over the countryside. Their wood is able to absorb impressive amounts of magic, making it a popular component to the crafting of magical constructs and devices. Yeah. Now you got your silverwood trees, cinder pearl. Ah, if anyone can tell me in the comments what that sort of big stone 3x3 altar thing is in Thorncraft, I'd be much appreciated because I really do want to uh, make something like that. That would be brilliant. Uh, I'm going to just do a little bit more research actually uh, while I'm here because I think maybe we could find something. Who knows? Remember? Or remember not? See, Amber's got a few properties. It, Amber's part of the. Thorncraft mod, but it hasn't got many purposes yet. Appetite doesn't have anything. Redstone's got a bit. Uh, we're gonna let's try rubies as well. Why the hell not? Uh, cinnabar. That's also part of the Thorncraft mod. <sighs> let's give these things a go. Pop the paper. It's so dark in here. My brightness has turned right up as well. Let's try some clay as well. We've got a bit of excess clay. Look at that. Anything here? Anything? Nah. It doesn't want clay. <laughs> It doesn't want it. Oh, we've got a little bit of something here. Let's try some rubies. Oh, virtuous. We're gonna try some amber. Similar, similar properties. So I don't think it needs any of that. Why not try a little bit of sugar cane? ATST at the same time. Wow, I actually got that the first time. I'm pretty impressed. Don't need any gold nuggets. Need any fire shards? Oh, that's got quite a few things. Nope, why not? You do. Let's try some other shards actually, because shards are really fantastic. Um, try some earth shards and avis shards. I think I recently got. Or did I not? Uh, I don't know if I did actually. I, I'm pretty sure I did, or maybe I lost them. Or maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Right in here. I don't even know. Let's try out these earth shards though, because they look great. Oh, they've got similar properties and. Oh, yeah, I think it shows that we don't need any of these things when they, when they blank out like that. Let's try some sandstone. Don't need any of that. Redwood. Don't need any of that. Bucket. Ooh, vicus. Nope, don't want that. Table. It's got some things on here. Instrumentum. Do we need any of that? Oh, we're using up quite a few tables there. Cobblestone. Do we need any of this stuff? Cobblestone is quite cheap to research, so you may as well do it. Um, I think also, you know these things that I've dotted around my, my crib? These, uh, quartz crystals, they could be, they could be used. 
And now we're just going to give Nikolai a go. That looks pretty cool. I really want to find out what this thing is. And after I find out what this thing is, maybe we can call it an episode. I haven't done much, admittedly, but... God damn, if I could even research one thing, it'd be worth it. Holy crap. Not in there. I'm such a noob. Let's try out a bit of corpus. Need any corpus? Nope. Don't need any corpus. This is hard. <laughs> That's what she said. Let's try out a little bit of coal, because... It's got some fire aspect to it, isn't it? This has got a bunch of things, but we can't test out the thumb on the con. Surely not. Ooh. Running low on resources now. Let's try out the egg. It's got exchange. What about redwood saplings, ink sacks, flint. Try a bit of flint and a bit of feather. Oh, feather looks like it's got some cool properties. Let's try a bit of flint as well. I was going to not take it, but if it, if it was involved in the recipe, I'd never forgive myself. It's got no properties anyway, so let's give the feathers a go. Nope, they're not needed either. This is ridiculous. Uh, let's try the eggs. We've got plenty of those. Ooh, exchange. Permutatio obscurus. I think that means it's not found yet. So we could try some. Do we have any water shards? I think we do. Possibly not. Let's try some crude oil. Doesn't have anything on it. We haven't tried any redstone yet. Let's give that a go. Has it got any new properties? Mm, I don't know. I think we've tried out the properties that this has got before. Yeah, it doesn't need any of those. Let's try out... Mm, this is all corpus already, isn't it? A lot of it is. Ah, we're going to try out... Aluminium. Look at that. Aluminium. They missed out the eye. The mod maker. What a loser. He doesn't even know. Because the mod maker is presumably American. They say it. Aluminium. But it's not how it's really meant to be said. It's got an eye uh, before the U, but not many people recognise that fact. Let's try out Zombie Brain. <laughs> They're always fun. Oh, oh, nothing yet. Good damn. Holy shit balls. Let's give this puppy a go. Ooh, god damn. This is getting tense. I, I really can't find try some light zychromium. It's got some light aspect to it. Possibly that's needed. you just got to research these things, you know. It's not... It's not the easiest thing to do in the world, admittedly, but it's got to be done. Let's try... Any more crazy things in here. Brown wool. Doesn't have any properties. That's pretty depressing. Yeah, baby. Let's go to sleep. Help out Kiko a little bit. Oh, it's a good knuckle crunch that was. I don't know if you could hear that. Ooh, beautiful lad of day. I'm going to shut these puppies actually because I think a zomble came up here one time. I know, right? I think they can climb stairs now. Uh, or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it was. Maybe it was just Kiko. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't look like a zombie. Let's try out mushrooms. Oh, look at that. They got their own property. Mushroom property. Need any mushroom? Oh, what's it gonna? What's it likely to need? It's got exchange, diamond. I reckon it might need a bit of gold. I think it might need a bit of this trophy. No. Oh, metallium. Oh yes. Let's put in this. This has got metallium. We need more of it. So, oh, may as well. A little bit more. I think irons must have. Well, mm, gold's got eight metallium, so if you put gold, it'll do it a lot faster. Doesn't it? Wow, here we go. Discovery tin transmutation. Having mastered the transformation of base metals into gold, the next step would be to transform any and all metals into tin. Ah. Oh. So I reckon the way Thorncraft worked, I assume I assumed that this was all random, that he discovered stuff randomly, but I think it's got an order to it. And I think you just gotta find that order out yourself by experimenting a lot. So there we go. That was that episode. Next episode, we might be doing some building. Uh or Thorncraft, depending on how I can figure these things out. 
and I'd really love to do some research and find out what this mass of ass table is because that would be fantastic. And this can be like the magic area of the treehouse. And my plans for the next episode are to possibly, I don't know, bash through here and make a treehouse up there and walkways and all crazy sorts of things. So a little bit of building wouldn't go amiss, but we'll we'll see. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.